up everybody welcome to your third blender tutorial uh, it's me Travis at mybringbags.com and what we're gonna do today is just kinda show you guys how to add a reference image or a background image and develop your very first basic character it's not gonna be anything pretty or complex just real simple something I can probably do in like eight minutes here and explain what's going on and then also we're uh, to do to uh, build that character we're going to use a mirror modifier so we'll only have to model half of the model and it'll basically use a mirror and make the other half for us pretty convenient there so first I want you guys to go into your front view by pressing 1 and as you can see it's in perspective view up here so I'm just gonna hit 5 to go into ortho and we want to pull up our properties tab again that's the letter N on your keyboard or you can go down to this view and go to in right or properties right there now we're in our front view and we're gonna at under this properties tab there's a background images we're gonna check that and open it up a little bit add an image not set yet so we're gonna open one and then go to wherever your reference image is again probably for this or for this tutorial you won't even need a reference image that's how you know that's how simple and basic it is but there you go there's your reference image now we just need to kind of line it up so we're gonna go again in our properties tab and just kind of move it like this and we want to get right in the center of our character so I'm just gonna change this to something like 2.63 and that looks pretty good right in the center of our character and this is where our mirror is gonna be so we just model this half and it's gonna mirror this half for us so there we go and now we just want to change uh, the Y direction so it's kind of somewhere in the torso or somewhere in the you know the waist hips whatever so there you go we got that set up now what we want to do is get our box a little closer to what we want so the first thing that we're gonna do is hit tab to go into edit mode and this is where we're gonna see our vertices and all that good stuff that we can mess around with later but before we do that we want to go into wireframe mode right here and it kinda gives us a uh, you know transparency so we can see what's going on and actually I'm sorry I'm gonna go back to edit mode here it's still in wireframe but uh, there we go it's still selected as you can see if you want to unselect your selection or unselect your uh, model there just hit A on your keyboard or if you don't have anything selected hit A again and it'll select everything so we want to have everything selected and hit S for scale what okay it's scaling everything and uh, sorry about that I was kinda of confused it's scaling all of my camera and my light up here as well so we don't want that so I'm gonna hit A and just right click on uh, you know the one line and that'll select this whole object so I got a little confused there and then we're gonna hit S and just kinda of scale it down to where we want it's not gonna be a perfect scale as for now because it's obviously wider than it is right here but now the other thing we want to do is set up our other view so we can see the right side or the left side. Um, so we're just going to again drag this corner up here like I showed you in the last tutorial. And kind of, or we're going to right click over here in our other viewport. I'm just going to hit T to get rid of this toolbar. And then what we want to do is, as you can see, we're still in front view. So we're going to go hit 3 on the numpad. And that'll go give us the right view. And now we need to adjust this reference or background image so it fits uh, the right the right the, um, sketch that we kind of drew there. So again, it's just going to adjust the X for the most part. We aren't going to keep the Y because we want the Y to be the same as it is in the front view. So there we go. This one doesn't have to be perfect because we aren't using the mirror on this side. But uh, now we're going to tab, hit tab, and go into the edit view. Maybe I don't want to do that first. Yeah, hit tab. We're going to go into the front view over here. So, uh, there we go. And, uh, excuse me. What we want to do first is get rid of this half of, of our guy and uh, add the mirror modifier so it'll mirror it for us. And to do that, we're going to hit Control R. And as you can see, I already did it. And this will add a basically a cut. Um, through our object here and as you can see whatever uh, surface you are selecting on it's going to go the cut through that direction so we're going to go up here and hit left click and as you can see you can move this over here and left click again but we want it in the center 
so we're going to right click and it will automatically put it in the center for us there we go now what we want to do is hit A to get rid of our selection and then we're going to hit B for box and then we're just going to right click and grab these vertices and again you want to be in wireframe mode which will be down here if you're in solid mode it will just grab the vertices that you can actually see not the vertices behind it so you want to be in wireframe mode when you make that selection and then what we're going to do is just hit X for delete or you can actually hit the delete button as well on your keyboard and we're going to delete those vertices there we go now we want to go into kind of the object mode just to show you guys what's going on here oh no you don't even have to go into object mode sorry we're just going to stay in edit mode and wireframe now what we want to do is just kind of make a selection over our whole thing again B there we go and we're going to go over to this wrench tool this is where we're going to add our modifiers and we're going to add the mirror modifier which is right here and as you can see it mirrored the object so we only have to develop on this half and it'll keep it perfectly symmetrical and we won't have to worry about it so there we go we kind of have that set up now I'm just going to go into this side view and kind of get this set up a little bit better so I'm in the side view I'm going to hit A to get rid of the selection and again just box B grab these vertices up here as you can see again it's everything right there and we're gonna hit uh, G for grab oops and as you can see I just want to show you I'll let my mistake give you guys a little uh, showing of what's happening here it's ripping apart basically in the center of our character which we don't want we want that center to always be connected so what we need to also add to our mirror modifier is clipping so we're going to hit this clipping and that will, will make that not happen so I'm just going to control Z again a few times and now our clipping has been added to the mirror modifier and again we're going to grab those that selection by uh, B for box and then select it and we're going to hit G for grab and we just kind of want to have something you know something basic we're going to grab it there and then we're going to hit A and then B for box again and G for grab. And we're going to kind of move it up so it matches both perspectives. Again, you guys will get really familiar with the keyboard and just switching between A, B, G to grab. We're just kind of getting set up, ready to go here. Again, A, B, G. There you go now what we want to do is kind of model our character in both perspectives at the same time so what we want to do is we want to hit B or A if you guys have some something that's selected already that you don't want so B and we're just gonna grab all four of these viewpoints and as you can see it actually grabs the surface if we grab all the vertices so there we go and we're gonna stick in the front view and hit E for extrude we're gonna just move it up a little bit you know that is about fine and then we're gonna go back into this view and kind of just again just uh, kind of model it to shape our character here so again B just to grab G to, oops forgot the A part A G, B and then G just kind of you know and we kinda of wanna keep this one um, as you can see in the front view we wanna kinda of keep this over so we can extract out as well but uh there we go we want to keep that and then a b and g again kind of keep it right around the armpit area then also what we want to do is select all that and kind of extrude up so e and then we're just going to extrude here and real quickly i'm just going to extrude again with e and pull it up here and left click to to confirm it right click is always to you know deny whatever position you're in but there we go that's fine for now and it pretty much shapes the side of our character as well now the other thing is we kinda wanna get this uh, booty going I guess so we're gonna just do that in the side view B for box E for extrude and as you can see this is kinda messed up oops I'm also grabbing the top of the head but let's see here and this is one of those cases when you wanna right click and it goes back to where it was A uh, B again and E for extrude 
and what we can do is as you can see in the front view it looks like it's extruding in a weird direction so what we want to do is we want to hit uh, you can still use the references like Y Z which is the one that we want and also X to extrude in a certain direction so we're gonna hit Z just to extrude down a little bit and then we're gonna scale by S and again we can use their scale in a certain direction so we're gonna do that as well um, in the oops, in the wide Y direction be going like that a little bit and then we're just gonna hit G for grab so there we go pretty simple model that we're doing here but uh, R is for rotate so we're gonna rotate a little bit and looks like I didn't ex I'm gonna hit control Z because I didn't uh, extrude it right so we're gonna hit E for extrude and then also along the Z axis so there we go and uh, again R we can rotate it a little bit the direction that we want so we're just gonna kinda do something like this B or E for extrude again and then hit Z so we don't mess it up in our other view that we want and uh, you know we might want to scale that down a little bit we're gonna hit S and again maybe just in the Z direction or not the Z direction the Y direction so there we go and we might also want to rotate it by R you know get something like that it's not pretty but that's fine for now so as you can see we kinda of have this character going on nothing beautiful nothing pretty um, but it's something something to practice with so we're gonna go up to our front view hit A unselect everything B for box grab those extrude extrude again and then A you guys will get really familiar with this but there's a basic character now this might be a problem this leg we don't really know how to do that yet but uh, basically actually yeah you do because we did it uh, to get that box kind of we added a loop cut to to that original box so we're gonna do that again just again uh, hit A first and hit control R for loop cut left click and then we can move it where we want and hit A there you go and um, the other thing that we can do is grab instead of just the vertices we can grab uh, faces and so down here we're gonna go or I'm sorry we have some choices over here uh, and see right now we're selected for vertices we want to select faces and we can just you know right click on that face and go to our front view extrude down and uh, left click so now let's switch into our object mode or um, our solid mode and our object mode kind of check it out nothing pretty at all but it's a basic shape of character and then you can go over here to smooth it out a little bit um, under your tools and uh, there we go have your first character developed nothing pretty but uh, we'll get into something more complex next time so there you go hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll catch you guys next time peace